I spoke to a woman today who can't can't afford to eat, and she, you know, cooks for her children and then has Weetabix for tea. I spoke to another woman who's got so little money that she's wearing her dead mother's underwear now because she can't afford the outlay. She can just about get through the week on food and and energy, but she can't afford the extra outlay of buying new clothes or buying new knickers. So any tempt, I mean, there are days when I'm bored of bored's not quite the right word exhausted mm. but never never bored never apathetic because the, the the beauty of doing what we do with radio and with phoning in particular is the connection you have with your audience the connection you have with ordinary people who do not enjoy the privileges and, and the advantages that you enjoy and yet who deserve so much better if there was anybody front and centre around whom they could all coalesce, she'd be toast already. I mean, she is toast. She, mm. It's just a question of how high the toaster is turned up at the moment. It's on a very low mm. dial, low to middling. But if there was somebody there to assume the mantle immediately, an obvious unity candidate, then the toast would be popping out of the toaster. It was always going to fall apart. I'm surprised it's fallen apart quite so spectacularly and in the context of Liz Truss quite quite so quickly. I think the Tories are at least one more leader, possibly two more leaders away from even tacitly acknowledging the idiocy of Brexit. And that, of course, is, is the ghost. That's Banquo's ghost at this feast. And it's not political. I, 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 it's, it's not even ideological. It's psychological, this commitment to Brexit, this weird belief that we're such an astonishing country that we can really defy the laws of gravity we can cut ourselves off from all the most obvious rules of international trade and somehow thrive or or do better than we do as a member of the largest single market in the history of humanity it's such a huge psychological obstacle for large parts of the conservative party to overcome larger than ever of course because johnson got rid mm. of all the sensible ones in 2019 that i i think they'll need one possibly two more leaders before they get their starmer